Hello everyone. Hey guys. What's today? Saturday? Today is Saturday. Happy Saturday. Hope everybody's having a fabulous Saturday. Instagram has done something. They told me that I could turn on badges. I turned on badges. If anybody wants to send me birthday money, you can hit the badge and send me some money for my birthday. And they just sent me this thing and said that I was eligible to do that on my live. So I'm like, okay. It's called a birthday party. So anybody who wants to gift me for a birthday gift or anything like that, you can hit the badge thing and, and send some money. Happy Saturday, beautiful couple. Thank you, Prima Donna. Hello, hello, hello. Mindful Beauty London. Hello. Hello, we're on the beach. We just had breakfast. We're relaxing underneath the umbrella. I just started following you about a week ago and absolutely love y'all. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A vacation. Yeah, that's what this is. It's a vacation. Hold on. I'm going to send you guys the, um, let me turn it around so you guys can see the water. Oh, yeah, they're cleaning up the beach. Here's the water, guys. There's the water. It's beautiful morning in Riviera Maya, Mexico. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful down here. Beautiful. So we are having a great time, just relaxing, enjoying the scenery, each other, the weather. Really, they haven't even done a whole lot, guys. This is like the resort we're at. It's just so relaxing and peaceful. It's been just beautiful, wonderful, wonderful. So yeah, just kind of spending a lazy Saturday. Don't even really have a bunch of plans for today. Relaxing, enjoying our time. How's everybody doing? I'm like, I didn't come live yesterday and it actually felt weird to not come live yesterday. The Rise Up Challenge going live for 30 days straight in April really got me used to going live again, guys. It's like, dang, okay. Now I'm just, I'm used to doing it. So that's good, it got me back in the flow. So you're gonna see the Rebecca Lynn Pope live show coming where I'm gonna have guests on and we're gonna I'm gonna do some coaching live and answering questions live. So that's coming probably next week, not this coming week, but the following week. Hello, love, Miss Pink Secrets. Hi folks, this is Rebecca Lynn Gorgeous. Thank you, sweetheart. Shayla actually bought a badge. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for my birthday badge birthday money. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, so everything's good, guys. I, um, one of the things I was thinking about this morning is about how it is so important to relax. I think sometimes when we're in our everyday hustle grind, like Carrie said to me this morning at breakfast, she's like, I'm so proud of you. You haven't worked this whole time. Like, you haven't gotten on your laptop. You're not doing anything. I literally, since we got here Wednesday, today, Saturday, I have not worked at all. And anybody who doesn't really know me, like, guys, that is abnormal for me. Like, for me to not do any work, like, Carrie's just like, I'm so proud of you, you know, for not working while you're here. Oh, the tractor's cleaning up the beach, y'all, so it's going to be loud for a second. I don't want to stand can I book a session with you? I don't see one on your link tree. No, see, I don't do any one-on-one -on -one life and love coaching anymore. We do have some classes coming up that you will be able to take. We have a healing class coming. Guys, I got to the point where I was charging $25,000 for packages for life coaching. And it didn't matter what I raised the price to, guys. It was just, I, it was too much. Right, I was getting. I still got too many clients. It was it was too much to handle, and so I stopped doing one-on-one -on -one, uh, life coaching. So no, there's not a link, sweetheart, um, because it's just it's something that I can't keep up with with the demand. Um, but yeah, so relax, relax. Like one of the things that I this is, this is my takeaway from relaxing. When you relax, it's a lot like meditating. Right, when you relax. 
literally just like meditating to where when you just breathe and you let go and you let go of all the stress and tension and it's in that relaxed place that creativity flows alignment with god flows if you stop and think about it when you are stressed or you're overthinking or you're worried all of that is tension right all of that is you if you stop and you breathe for a second you realize you're carrying a bunch of tension through your, your um, shoulders that when you breathe you feel your chest relax right so much that has to do with our daily hustle and grind is tension stress and relaxation is the complete opposite of that which is meditation right where you just let go you surrender you trust you overthinking things is not going to fix anything you worrying about things is not going to fix anything you borrowing worry you, you're not even just considering today you're worried about next week you're worried about next month you're borrowing worry right like there's not anything for you to be worrying about a month from now two months from now it's going to work itself out but you have to trust and stay in that flow of faith and love and trust one of the affirmations that I feel is so powerful you can do every day is you say, today, God, I trust you, right? I trust you. Today, God, I trust you, right? If there's a worry or concern, today, God, I give this to you. This is not for me to carry. I give this to you, right? Good morning. Literally, you can make a decision in every moment to trust. You can make a decision in every moment to choose joy, peace, love, to not stress, not let go. Here's, here's something I want you to realize. You are not in control of everything. You're not in control of everything. You can, listen, there's so much in life that is out of your control. You cannot control other people. You cannot control what other people do. You cannot control what other people think. And half of our worry is often consumed by stuff that's with not even within our control and then what happens is you start to build habits around overthinking habits around stress right habits you literally create habits to guess what even when there's nothing to worry about you're worrying even when there's nothing to stress about you're going to come up with something to stress about because your brain now has created patterns of stressful thinking a mindset around worry around stress around pain right around grievance, around suffering. You know, patterns of it, and it's so hard to let go of that even when things are good, even when things are good, guys, you'll find yourself finding something to worry about. You'll find something to worry about for next year. You'll find something to worry about. Like, I know a lot of people love to watch the news. I don't watch the news. Why don't I watch the news? It's all negative. It's all bad. Hi, Maria, hi, Tisha. It's all bad, it's all horrible. All it does is make you worry about this, worry about that. And 99% of the stuff that's on the news is not anything in your control. It's not any, it's people that you don't even know. It's situations, circumstances, powers that be that you have no control over whatsoever. It's laws being put in place that you don't have any control over. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, nothing. If you're sitting back worrying about taxes, if you're sitting back worrying about what the government's gonna do, the best thing I suggest you do is create streams of income so you can opt out. For years and years when it comes to politics, I just opt out. I'll vote, I'll, I, I'll exercise my civic duty, but am I gonna sit and worry about who's sitting in that office, worrying about policies, worrying about what they're gonna do? No, it's my job to take care of me and mine. It's, it's my job to make sure I'm sitting back doing everything I need to do for me and mine to be okay. To where those rules, those laws, right, don't apply. Don't apply. That it doesn't matter what they decide to do with taxes. It doesn't matter what they decide to do with jobs. It doesn't matter because if you sit back and create businesses and create streams of income, you don't have to worry about what people are doing in one country or another. Because now when you create virtual businesses, you guys, you can make money all over the world. You're not, you're not, you know, you're not only making money in your city, you're not only making money in your country, you can make money all around the world. Global income, virtual income. So you're not worried about local policies, right? 
like I say, be, be a good citizen, civic duty, but at the end of the day, a lot of the stuff you sit back and worry about, you need to be creating your own systems of freedom, income, financial stability, financial security outside of the systems that exist, right? And you can do it. Your knowledge is worth money. Your skills are worth money. Your passions are worth money. Your, your experiences are worth money. We now live in the 21st century, guys. There isn't any reason you cannot monetize your knowledge, monetize your gifts. You can do it. Anyway, relax. Let the creativity flow. Surrender your worries and stresses to God today. Right? And relax. Relax. Stop worrying and stressing over stuff that's out of your control. Out of your control. All right. All right, guys. I love you. Blessings in abundance. I am going to sit here and enjoy this ocean, enjoy this vacation. We come back, I think, Tuesday or Wednesday? Tuesday. We'll be back in the States. All right. I love you guys. Don't forget to sign up for healing class. Make sure we're releasing it this coming week. Enrollment opens this coming week. Make sure you get on the waiting list for the work masterclass, how to heal your heart and mind for abundant life. Make sure you sign up. That link is in my bio. I'll make sure I post it right here in this video as well when I post it. Thank you, Natalie. Enjoy your holiday. You guys, listen, have a great weekend and I'll check back in soon. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye, Ms. Pope. Bye, guys.